So I've been asked to look at this most beautiful, beautiful 18 karat gold pocket watch, which is just exquisite. It has the initials AP on the front and it's a Waltham pocket watch. Now I just want to um, show Annie how, in, tell Annie how important it is for when she's opening and closing this beautiful pocket watch that she does it correctly because lots of people who don't understand how to open and close a pocket watch end up breaking not just the glass but they'll end up damaging the hands and um, that's a real shame so this is the way you open and close your lid on a pocket watch you simply push and that releases it so you're pushing this which is called the crown so you so you just push and that pops that open but the most important thing is is when you're closing it you do not press in the middle you press right on the very edge now you can hear that very clearly beautifully closing so at the moment it opens and closes beautifully so that's all you need to know and then with the back you pop a fingernail never a sharp object or a knife or anything like that only an expert will do that. You're going to prise that open like so with something as sharp as a, a, a fingernail. And inside it's got a beautiful hand engraving, E. Parker, which is just exquisite. And, um, and in underneath there is the workings of the watch. There is no reason for anybody to open that other than a watchmaker who is professionally doing some, some, some work on it. And so best never to open that. Otherwise, if you don't know what you're doing, you can do some serious damage to the workings of the watch. And then simply close it again, the same way on the other side. When you're winding it, now I just have wound this, so it may not wind. You simply wind, uh, I won't do it because I have wound it up. You wind clockwise, then, then wind that back, then wind clockwise, then wind that back. And you just do that until the watch is fully wound never force it to wind it any more than what it needs to be wound otherwise you'll break the mainspring if you break the mainspring that's it it's a really sad thing for such an exquisite watch like this to have a broken mainspring hmm. it's a beautiful piece annie thank you Alison. Mm, i'm welcome. very grateful you're welcome